All right, boys and girls, I thought I would post this on my channel. This isn't anything new. Uh, I, I suspect there's probably lots of lots of explanations for this, even on Real Illusions channel. But I thought I, but I didn't know this, so I found this out myself. So I thought I would at least show it to those people that have subscribed to me. So this is Daz. You know, we always talk about Daz about bringing clothing in or hair or props or scenery. Uh, so this is props, and the, what's different about this is, this prop here, I'm going to click over here, so we have this here. This prop here, if I select it, and I have it selected, and you'll notice it has morphs down here. So we come down here, and it's got these morphs. So there's all these different morphs that you can do with this prop. And if we go ahead and we export this, we go to export, and I've already done this, so this is one, like I said, I always talk about this cooking shows. This is things you've already done, but yes, I was exported as a letter chair. Yes, it already exists. And what you want to come down is make sure that you have all the morphs exported. So here's the, or at least the ones you want. So I have all the morphs. It says yes. Say yes to the dress or yes to the morphs. So you, you have this check marked here, so make sure to export the morphs. You may have to go into rules, and I changed it to say uh, to rule zero would be anything to export it. Boom. I had I, I did that. I don't know if you have to do that, but in my default, there was a different rule here, and when that wasn't that, it didn't work. So I don't know, but but zero anything and export. Okay. So anyway, so uh, we do that, and it exports it, and now it exports it with those morphs. So now we really don't need Daz anymore. So we'll go around there. So we'll go down to Exchange. We'll bring our Exchange over here from my other monitor, and we'll open up that. Um, somewhere where is it where is it it is eh, ah, there it is leather chair we'll bring that in and we'll say yes yes to the dress and uh so it just comes into exchange as i remember i exported as fbx you want to export as fbx because that will export the bars so now if i apply this to iclone so take this over there and we don't really need exchange showing anymore so now now the chair is in iclone okay so uh, so now what we want to do, we go to the Modify tab with that chair selected, and we go to, for some reason, we go to the Motion, I don't, or Animation. I guess Animation makes sense. And we, and we load up Morph Creator. So this is iClone 7, which has Morph Creator built in. We click on Morph Creator, and now I'm going to have to uh, drag this over on my other window. What, what, it's, what Morph Creator is telling me, I can't show you how Morph Creator is loaded because it loads into the other window, but here's what Morph Creator says. Hey, I found morphs here. You want to do those? And I say, yes, you know, change those. So now I'm going to drag Morph Creator over from this other window. Now it shows there indeed is the chair in Morph Creator. And here's all the morphs it brought in. So you can see, watch this. If I if I adjust this morph here, you'll see, whoops, I'm going to adjust it. See how that how the cushion depresses in there? So you can make it depress further. So if somebody sits in a chair, you can depress the cushion. You can change the seat height here. So... You know, raise the seat up and down. You can have it recline. It's kind of cool. Uh, and then, of course, again, you can have people sit in the chair and depress it. So those are all morphs available here. If I say update morph to iClone, because these morphs, I want them all in here. If I just say that, then now in iClone, those morphs are there. So now if I go to the morph animator, so now I can come in here to some place in the timeline and then recline the chair. And then that will actually recline like that. So now those... That's as easy as it is, and lots of Daz props have uh, all kinds of morphs in them. So you can uh, you can have those and just put those in there and animate them to your heart's desire. And then if you go ahead and save this, if you go into your content and save it as uh, something, I like to call it something more like this: a morphine chair. So that way, I know it has morphs attached to it. Uh, so now you have them. And so that's kind of cool. So again, it's just something that uh, I, I'm sure. Ever since 7 came out, I'm sure it's been available, but I didn't know how easy it was to bring the Daz Morphs in. And as most of you probably know that use Daz props, they have tons of morphs. And doors open and close and, and fans rotate and all kinds of stuff. And you can just bring that in really easily too. Have fun.